chilly at the polls, Lainey. <laughs> Yeah, it was cold this morning and it's still chilly out there this evening and there is still time. You know, out there today we had a lot of sunshine though, a nice fall afternoon. After we got over that morning chill, our temperatures did make it into the mid 60s, just one degree shy of an average high of 65 degrees. Of course, the morning temperatures were a whole lot colder than normal. Our temps right now are in the mid 50s, so they are dropping fast. You've got 54 in North Wilkesboro, 50 already in Martinsville and a temperature at 56 degrees in Greensboro. If you are headed out to the polls here shortly, those temperatures dropping through the low 50s, take a light jacket with you. I had hardly any line at all when I went to vote today. I think a lot of folks have done that early voting, but there is still plenty of time for you to get out and cast your vote. Now, it will be cold tomorrow morning. The temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer than today but still chilly and there will be a little frost around as well as we've got very light to calm winds. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 30s tomorrow morning. High pressure overhead brought us all that blue sky for the last several days and it will continue to bring us blue skies even into tomorrow with a light south wind. The temperature should actually warm up a little bit so we should be close to 66 tomorrow afternoon. For the foothills a high of 64 tomorrow also with sunny skies and that south breeze. Mountain towns temperatures will be in the upper 50s by late tomorrow afternoon. There is warmth to our west, so we are going to be warming up. In fact, approaching 70 degrees by the end of the week, and we do have mainly sunny skies heading into the week weekend. Now, we are going to keep a real close eye on Ada, not only because it is causing, unfortunately, so much damage across Central America, as this storm is making landfall right now with 140 mile per hour winds moving to the west at about five miles an hour. It will move over Central America, then it expected to turn to the north and to the east and maybe move over Cuba and approach Florida. That's where our weekend and early next week forecast comes in. Watch and pay attention there. You're going to see that storm system, Ada, moving northward and approaching Florida by Sunday. I've actually put in a slight chance of some showers in here, potentially from some Atlantic moisture coming in Monday and Tuesday. Right now, those rain chances are very low, but we are increasing clouds. And I think the temperatures going up is probably heading in the right direction. I think a lot of folks will like that. I'm in the comfort of my home where it's nice and warm because I wanted to give Bill O'Neill an opportunity to be in the studio using my office. Take care of things, Bill. I know you're going to do well tonight and give us all that great coverage.